Hi, I'm Ellie. And I'm Charlotte. And we run a bridal boutique in South West London called Ellie and Charlotte. And we're going to talk to you about how to choose your perfect wedding shoes. When choosing your shoes for your wedding dress, we highly recommend that you get a sample of fabric from the, your dressmaker or from the boutique that you're actually getting your dress from. Once you've got that, that will really help you work out what colour shoe you need to get for your dress. Another thing you need to figure out is how high you want the shoe to go and you need to find a style that actually suits the wedding dress that you've ordered. Once you've got your fabric sample from your boutique or your designer, it's really handy just to have it in your bag at all times when you're going around the shops because you never know when you'll find the perfect shoes. There is quite a large difference between um, different shades of ivory. It depends if you're going more cream vintagey or if it's more of a fresh, lighter ivory. So it's something you need to be wary of when you're going to choose your shoes. This is a standard ivory wedding shoe and standard ivory silk. And you can see that they are slightly different tones, but you can't get too bogged down with getting exact colour yeah. because once the shoe is next to the dress en masse, no one's really going to see them. Um, and as long as they're the right shade and they're not too stark or too cream. And with different types of fabric, the shade changes a little bit anyway. Exactly, but as long as it's not you know, a bright white shoe or they're not really, really cream, because sometimes really dark cream shoes can look quite dirty next to ivory silk. Like for example, this is like a white silk and next to this ivory shoe, it doesn't look right at all. So that's why you really need to take your fabric sample with you when choosing your shoe. When you've actually bought your wedding shoes, it's a really good idea to wear your wedding shoes in, but don't go outsiding them because you don't want to get any marks on the shoe. We always suggest to our brides to put on a big pair of woolly socks, I know it sounds silly, but big pair of woolly socks and actually stretch the shoes and walk around the house for a few days in the shoes before your wedding day because you are going to be suddenly wearing the shoes for maybe even up to 12 hours on one day and if you don't wear them in then they might rub. 